Hello, today I'm going to be showing you this 2007 Toyota Hiace turbo diesel. It's got the D4D engine in, the 120. It was converted in 2010. It started its life out Motability. So Motability owned it for the first three years. Hence why these windows have been factory fitted by Toyota. They were in from brand new. So it started its life out as a motor ve motability vehicle, hence the condition and low mileage, for the first three years. Then in 2010, Derby Conversions did a full fit out and conversion to the Glen Eagle spec. We've got the original bill of sale from Derby Conversions in 2010, where the second owner took delivery of it. He had it for two years, and the third owner had it for five years, from 2012 to 2017. And the last owner had it for two years, so just had a change in circumstances. So four owners in total, very low mileage of 50,000 miles. I've covered just over 200 miles in this and it drives absolutely fantastic. Not a fault, just lovely. As you would expect, these vehicles are famous all the way around the world for covering spaceship reliable miles. So to get one with this miles in this condition is quite rare indeed. So yes, just walking round, it's a muddy day today I'm afraid, I've just drove a few hundred yards, so there's a few little mud marks on it, but that's all. All the wheels are just fantastic. I can't believe they're 10 years old, I reckon they've been replaced at some stage. There's your fresh water inlet, outlet, mains hookup. So you've got the mains feed as well as the leisure battery behind the driver's seat. That beep is just telling me that the key is left in. 50,249. 50, She's lovely. Remote central locking, electric mirrors, electric windows, three original keys, power steering, five speed manual. It's got some hover mats, hover and over mat. Yeah, just lovely. CD player, cab air conditioning, that's fully working. Book pack, cup holders. There's the paperwork, we'll go through that shortly. This will last a lifetime. Electric mirrors, don't know if you can just see they're working. It's the Toyota, of course, everything's working. I'll just pull the bonnet. Typical of Toyota to over-engineer things, that's not a, a, an engine battery and a leisure battery, that is in fact two engine batteries. So if you have one failure, you've always got the backup battery, as the leisure battery is inside the conversion behind the driver's seat, but yeah. That'll just last for years. It had a timing belt a couple of years ago, so there's nothing to worry about there. Let's see if I can just show you before we get in the rear and open the roof. If I can just show you and pull the driver's seat forward. I'll just put the camera down a bit. There we go. I've just pulled the seat forward. Lift that lever. And lurking behind the curtain. In there. Just under there. 
is the leisure battery. Let's uh, take the key out, stop that annoying beeping. I'll be happy to drive this personally anywhere in the United Kingdom. And I mean anywhere. Just pick up the phone. My name's Anthony Valentine, the camper nerd. 0798 526 1078. I'll personally deliver this to show you. If you're happy, you can pay for it. And I'll just get the train back. So the overmats over another mat. It's just lovely. So we lift this lever here. And that pulls it forward. And this one at the side just swivels it round. So what we'll do, I'll just put the camera down first and pull that forward. There we go. And now we'll pull this lever at the side. And now we can adjust the captain seat, armrest included. Look at that. Matching interior to the rock and roll bed with the two three point seat belts. Roof DVD player, there's a couple of remotes in the dashboard and some instructions for that. This one has got the two plus two facility, so it's got the roof boards that you could have two children sleeping upstairs with the roof popped up. Right, let's pop up that roof then. So it's a full Remo pop top. So we just do that. You can see how easy it is because I'm doing it with one hand on the camera. Press that button there. And I'm just going to pop it up. Handle. That should go up. We'll have a look at it on the outside now. With the roof up. We've got the roof ventilation and side windows. They zip down. So stepping inside, you've got a table that you can have on there, there or any side configuration with the runner. That's neatly fitted in the tailgate. Let's just show you from behind. There you go. There's the side table. I have done a couple of pictures to be able to see that in situation. Underneath storage, oh, it's got some levelling boards as well. Gas bottle area. You've got the wardrobe. You can access the wardrobe from the rear. Or the side if you're inside nice and cosy. There's the wardrobe runner. And we'll put the lights on shortly. So we've got the electric fridge and freezer unit in there so it'll work when you're driving or off the leisure battery when you're parked up you've got the full control panel so we'll put it on the leisure battery and that should light up full sets of curtains all the way around so yes you've got the three running boards there if I can just search there's one there one there and one there so that gives access at the top to a bed. So what I'll do now is I'll just move that up above. So you can still remove this panel here. But at least now we can stay go upstairs, as it were, in the upstairs bedroom. Those zipper out. Same on the back one and on the side window. Mains electric if you're on hookup. The sink, cold running water on the pump, 
lovely two burner gas hob access to storage you've got a little step there fold up step and the porter potter unit access to the storage space underneath the rock and roll bed so we just move this lever here to the side and then that just falls flat I have done some pictures of the bed set up three-way seat belts more luggage space yeah it's just lovely all around this absolutely fantastic condition quite a rare find indeed let's get that paperwork out so it's got some service history what I mean by that is the the main owner from uh, Bill was the main owner from 2012 to 2017 um, he was taking it to this garage here I've spoke to them they said they were regularly servicing every year but quite a few times he brought his own service bits so they didn't supply an invoice as such because he was a family friend he was a friend of this garage so if you feel free to ring that garage up they'll confirm what I'm saying um, I've just had it serviced now so it's all ready for the new owner so we've got a couple of stamps, uh, one stamp in the book, but because it was motability, it was serviced. There's lots of MOTs and bits and bobs here. Oh, there's the invoice from Derby Conversions in 2010. So it was converted on the 11th of October 10. Yeah, lots of invoices for bits and bobs and parts. Uh, somewhere in here, every MOT from new. If you have a look on the MOT history, I don't think it's ever failed. Well, it hasn't ever failed an MOT. I think it had one silly advisory for a tyre or something many years ago. So feel free to check up the MOT. History online with the registration number. There is a sheet here somewhere. If I can find it. I'll do a picture of it. There's a sheet here by Motability. There we go. And that's showing some servicing. For the first couple of years there was another service carried out. Just showing the mileages to verify, so it all stacks up nicely. So yes, just to recap, this is a 2007 Toyota diesel 2.5 high ace turbo diesel 120 with a D4D engine in. Converted by Derby Conversions to the Glen Eagle spec in 2010 when it came from Motability. I believe it was circa about 12,000 miles when they converted it. So all these windows have all been in from brand new by Toyota. So they did actually convert a nice low mileage vehicle. It's so disappointing to see some people converting very high mileage vehicles putting amateur windows in the side and you think why didn't you start with a nice base vehicle in the first place well that's not the case here this is and was a nice ba base vehicle so an ideal conversion so yeah I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the co country for you to inspect and test drive before you, you pay if you wish my name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd 0798 526 1078 or Google me, Campernerd, on YouTube or Google, or visit me at campernerd.com. And I have a camper review channel on my own channel on YouTube. I'll answer any sensible questions 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. I can't envisage this hanging around long in this condition, this specification. Just £100 to secure. <laughs>